Marcia here with Brightside and eBay. Um, so I have not posted in forever. I have been really busy and here is the reason why. Hi guys, it's Christian with Brightside of eBay. Um, so I've been a little busy as you can see. I haven't been posting lately. I actually got this new puppy and her name is Bailey, Beagle Bailey. Super energetic. So she's been keeping me pretty busy. Um, we actually, when we got her, found out uh, the day after we got her that she had parvo. So she was in the hospital for two weeks and just got out um, like four or five days ago. So, but a lot of work, you know, just trying to post um, items uh, to eBay when she's taking naps. Uh, but definitely full time job taking care of her. And uh, but here's some clips of some stuff that I've been up to. Um, going to garage sales with Zeke and I'll show you a couple items that I've posted and some stuff that I've sold. So, bye! So that is Baby Beagle Bailey. Um, she was actually in the hospital for two days and now she's just been a handful. Like right now she's, you know, taking a little nap but she'll be up soon so I'm gonna like shoot this quick um, because once she's awake she'll be running all around and trying to bite my toes and doing all kinds of stuff but anyways so um, let me go ahead and show you a couple weeks ago Zeke and I went to a garage sale so here's a clip of us uh, getting some items from the garage sale. I need to start out the morning with some coffee. Yum. Hi guys, so we're about to go garage selling. Haven't been garage selling in forever. Um, I got a special guest appearance by Zeke and we're gonna go see what we can find. We'll let you know how it goes. Here we go. So we're here at a community garage sale. Um, there's a couple of sales going on and we haven't found anything yet we'll let you know we actually woke up late so it's already like 8 8 15 so that's probably why we're not finding anything but oh well we're gonna see what happens how's that hot cocoa and chocolate donut like chocolate to the max right mm -hmm. So we got two places that we're gonna stop by. We've already hit probably how many places, Zeke? Like Maybe like ten? Yeah, and we found one thing. Here, let's see if we can Oh Where is it? You can't see it. That's bubble wrap that I got from work. Um, I'll show it to you later. Hey, so we got back from the Goodwill or well, we went <laughs> we went to the garage sales and then we went to Goodwill. And so here's what we got so let's see uh, we got this Technics equalizer we got a Technics double cassette uh, player and some other electronics we got all this all these electronics for um, $30 and we got about eight electronics and then we also got a VCR um, for, how much did we pay for the VCR? A dollar. One dollar? <laughs> you got it? Mm -hmm. You got it? Uh, and that's it, that's all we got. We went by the Goodwill, there wasn't really much there, and now probably just going to test some stuff out. Uh, photograph today, you gonna help me photograph? <laughs> Oh my god, that stuff's gonna fall. Hold that. And so we're hoping for the electronics. Maybe, you know, we bought it for 30. Hopefully get, I don't know, 170 out of it. Um, they are pretty, you know, nice pieces. So possibly more. We'll see. We'll give you an update. And got anything else to say, Zeke, in your guest appearance? How's your taco? Good. Okay. See you later. So that went really well. Um, you know, got some electronics, got some other things, and uh, got those posted. Haven't sold anything yet, but I think those will sell uh, soon. 
So here are some other items that I recently picked up. Um, my friend, again, I know I've told this story before, but she works for a lady who's a millionaire and she keeps giving me clothes to sell on eBay. And I've actually, like I said, I've started selling on Poshmark as well. Um, some of her clothes are actually, I mean, they're expensive, but they're really worn out. Like, and they have weird stains and stuff like that. And it's like, I try to wash them and stuff doesn't come out. So I have given like quite a few things back to my friend. Um, also, there's just some things that have just been, I just haven't been selling. Like I have Dolce & Gabbana, you know, shoes and they just don't sell. I mean, I guess it's some of the stuff is like older styles, you know, maybe it's not, it's just not in right now. And then some stuff just, you know, has rips and stains and I don't know, people don't want to buy it. So anyway, so here's a dress is, um, that I got, oh wait, it goes this way. Um, so bright red long dress, really pretty. But the problem is, is that I don't know uh, who made it. I don't know, maybe it was custom made or, uh, it, but I don't, it doesn't have any tags on it. I've, you know, uh, put it inside out and there's nothing on there, but really pretty. I'll go ahead and post that. I already took some pictures of it and just need to post it. Uh, let's see what else. I just took like a couple things. And then here is a, what is this? Bagley Mishka, I think you say like that. And this one is kind of flowy dress, you know, pretty, but it just, I don't really know that much about styles. Um, you know, I go to work every day and just kind of wear work clothes, um, you know, business casual. So I'm not really know all the trends and everything. So some stuff that I'm like, oh, this is cute. Like it will sell, but then it doesn't. Uh, that's why like the clothes that I have been selling are either from that lady. Um, I have gotten some clothes at the surplus store, which is kind of an interesting story. So here are some items that I've sold that were from the surplus store and they all happen to be items from uh, the 90s. So that's a few of the items that I've sold. Uh, so the interesting story is, so I, a while back, um, I had bought like five different overalls and I didn't, you know, they were all like old, like from the nineties. Um, and so I didn't know, you know, why the surplus store had all these old clothes. So the second time I went and they were selling them for like a dollar each. So the second time I went, I asked the guy, I was like, Hey, where did you guys get all these clothes? And it was like bins and bins of clothes. And he told me the story that apparently they got them, like uh, they've been in storage for like decades and a couple, like a decade ago or 10 years ago, the airport was, they were doing some testing and they were testing some of their machines, their security machines. So they bought like all this clothes from surplus or from Goodwills and thrift stores to, to test their machinery. And I think that's why a lot of it had like metal on it and like, um, overalls and just things with metal clips and things like that. Um, that's my, you know, assumption, but that's where it all came from. So like, it's been in a storage for 10 years. Finally, they were like, we need to get this stuff out. So that, and it was already from like thrift stores. So it was already kind of like older clothes. So a lot of it's just like from the nineties, like Calvin Klein, um, just like older style stuff. And so a lot of the overalls, overalls have been selling, and you know, most of those not like super high prices, but like $25, $30 and got those each for a dollar. So, you know, I've been getting pretty, you know, all my money back and just kind of interesting. Uh, I, again, I like selling vintage items. So I think that's really cool. Like selling stuff from the nineties. I don't get really, you know, excited selling Dolce & Gabbana and stuff like that. It's just, you know, I, I, don't, I don't find it that unique. Um, I think it's cool to, to go back in time and see what they were wearing then and, you know, people to recycle and wear something 
from from those you know decades uh, let's see what else did I get so you know I've heard a lot of people talk about Orbis yes Orbis and like you know buy Orbis it always sells and stuff like that so I did buy a couple of shirts of Orbis um, at an estate sell so this is one of the one of the shirts I got you know it's kind of like Indiana Jones type thing where it's, it's got the metal clips um, so everything has the the metal buttons and it's called the Malpa and it's got like a little what is that a cougar maybe hmm I don't know I'm not sure what that is but uh, pretty cool and I've got that listed for like $25 and I bought it for a couple bucks on a state sell uh, estate sales, I never go to estate sales the first day. Uh, I always go the last day because I just, I will not buy things full price in estate sale because they're just, you know, they're, are, they're always priced pretty high. And so I just, I won't do that. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple other items. And, you know, I buy a lot of CRTVs, um, CRT TVs, and those have been selling. So here are a couple of the TVs that I've sold. The Sony Trinitrons, like I said, those usually sell really well. You know, you have to look at the model number, make sure that you're getting the right one. I did have a Sony Trinitron that is a very desirable one. It is a, uh, what is it? How many inches is it? Oh, 13 inch. I think it's 13 inches. And it has the flat screen. Uh, the issue I had with that one is the lady was a smoker. And that is like, super red flag you know nowadays people don't want anything to do with smoking items i mean a lot of times people post on their on on the items like smoke free pet free blah 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 items so i did have to you know i wasn't gonna i need to tell people what's going on obviously i can smell the smoke i cleaned it you know i have some like orange spray and stuff like that that's you know i read up on it that it was okay it won't damage electronics and i used it on other things before because I had another Sony Trinitron which was even worse condition that was smoke Ugh, smelled so bad and I did a lot of treatment on it sold that uh, again you know I was very um up front in my listing you know the this um the, you know the unit sm has smells like smoke you know I've treated it but it still sm smells a bit like smoke this one not as bad so I've had this unit for a couple months now, and really, if it was from a smoke-free house, it would have sold within, you know, a couple weeks max. But because it was from a smoke, you know, somebody who was smoking, it took a while to sell, even though it had the remote and the manual, and it's like in really good condition. Uh, I'll probably do a, another treatment before I send it off. But that is one thing that can really mess with when you're selling electronics or any items. You know, people don't want stuff that smells like smoke, but you know, eventually it did sell. It didn't sell for the price, exactly the price that I was wanting it to, uh, but you know, I still made a profit. I, I bought that one for like 15 bucks. And, uh, and then the other TV that I sold, um, that one's a 20 inch, which I have to pack it up tonight. Ugh, it's gonna be time consuming. Uh, that one didn't sell as high as I wanted to either, but I think the total was 179 and the shipping is only going to be, I think like $45, so $45, $50. So I'm ending up with like $130, something like that, you know, and then obviously there's eBay is going to take their money and which is fine, you know, uh, so, but I bought that TV for, I think $10, it was probably $10. So a lot of those CRTVs, I'm not paying more than, you know, max $20, $40 for, but you know, you can sell them for a couple, you know, $100, sometimes more than that, $200, depending on what model it is. And let me go ahead and show you some more items that I have. I'm just gonna 
um, show those to you. Uh, one of them I got at Goodwill, which is a poster, and then the two other ones I got at an estate sale uh, the, just this past Sunday. And so, let me go ahead and show you this. Um, Power Ranger, ready to morph out and save the world poster from, I think it's from, oh, what year? I don't know. Uh, let's see, 2000, I think the 2000s, sometime in the 2000s. So I got this one for $5 at Goodwill. It's in perfect condition. It's, you know, in this little poster board. So I'm trying to sell that one for like $35, $40. Um, and I think I'll get that much money for it. We'll see. But either way, it's pretty cool. Like Power Rangers. It's very unique. This right here is a Newmark KMX01 uh, mixer. It has two CDs, and I've sold ones like this before. It has two CD slots right here so that um, you can record and just manipulate the music. And um, actually, this one says professional karaoke mixing station. So I'll test that one out. Uh, that one was half off, so it ended up, I did kind of pay up for these electronics. Um, but it has the manual with it so this one I paid $40 for I'm gonna try to get maybe close to 200 for it and uh, there aren't any any listed right now on eBay so that's going to be kind of my target because like again it has the manual with it uh, this right here is pretty cool it has it's a task cam CC 222 MK3 and it has a cassette deck and a CD recorder. So pretty cool. So you can use cassette tech, cassette tapes and record to CDs or CD to cassette um, tapes. So pretty unique. It also comes with the remote and the manual. So this one was actually priced for $200 original. Um, I got there the last day, so it was 50% off, so it was $100, and obviously I didn't want to pay $100, so I asked the lady, like, hey, um, can you go down on the price? Um, she would go down on the price. Um, she was like, well, you know, it's already half off. You can give me your number, and then I can give you a call if for some reason it doesn't sell. So I gave her, her my phone number and it was literally like right down the street from my house. So it was Sunday, I like went to church, was hanging out with the kiddos and they were ending at one o'clock, which is really early. But anyways, they were ending at the state sale at one o'clock and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go by there. Maybe talk to the lady again. You know, maybe it's, it's still there. She'll give me a discount. So I got there and it was still there. And this house was very interesting. It was like this tiny little manufactured house, but this guy was like this total music collector. He had like rooms full of CDs and albums and just tons of electronics, which I wish I could just could have bought all the electronics, you know, but obviously I'm on a budget, like I can't buy all the electronics. And so it was just, but he which, I'm just, I know I live in Texas, in Austin, Texas, but I'm just not really a huge country um, music fan. You know, I listen to more like 80s and alternative and emo and anyways. And so he only had all country music. And so, and I actually, you know, I have records and I just, I couldn't buy any of the records because it was all country music. But it was just, it was such a small house, but there was like a whole, like two rooms dedicated just to music and just full full of, of cassettes cds albums everywhere uh so it was pretty interesting um so anyway so i was talking with the lady and she was like you know what it is you know sweetheart it's the end of the day and you came back and i'm just gonna give you a discount and i was like okay so she ended up selling it to me for 75 dollars and she didn't even charge me any tax or anything it was just like 75 dollars which you're probably thinking oh my gosh Krisha, you paid 75 dollars for that well um again it, it isn't it, it is you know it's, it's an item that 
it, there's not that many right now on eBay. There are a few, but none of them have the remote. And remotes can get really expensive. Like remotes can be $20, $30 sometimes just for remote, especially if it's a vintage electronic that you know it's like you can't find the remote. Um, and it has a manual. So uh, some have sold in the past that have the remote for about $320. Since mine has the remote and the manual, I'm hoping to get like $350 for it. Uh, so I'll see. I definitely want to get it posted as soon as possible since none of the ones that are posted right now, there's like three of them. None of them have remotes. I don't think any of them have the manuals either. So I know just having that remote is going to uh, really put that, you know, people are going to want, want to get that item. So. I'll do some further testing. I mean, the guy took really good care of his electronics and I did some testing while I was there, but I could only, you know, only test, um, not completely test them, but I'm pretty sure they were all hooked up. And again, he took really good care of his, of his things. So I, they should be working with no issues. That'll be a real bummer if they aren't, if something's wrong. Uh, so I guess that's it. That's all the updates I have. Uh, I've been kind of exhausted with the puppy. Uh, yeah, waking up really early, taking the puppy out. Um, my lunch breaks, I've been coming home. Usually I would be going to Goodwill or thrift stores during my lunch break to um, source for items and that's not happening anymore. So, but anyways, Bailey's super cute. We're happy to have her we just gotta get used to having a new family member <laughs> in our house and so anyways let me know how it's going with your stores if you have any questions you feel free to ask and I'll see you next time